Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I wanted to let you guys know, in honor of the Evo, we were having an Evo theme drop for Legends Media this Friday. It's gonna be so amazing, and specifically, all for the Evo. So let me show you guys what we have. To start out, of course, I'm gonna show you guys both of the hoodies. Here's the front hit, but what's the coolest in the back is I wanted to go specifically Tokyo Drift themed. As you guys can see, we kind of have the Shibuya Crossing background back here with the Evo doing some speed skids. This is so sick and exactly how I wanted to portray the Evo. It just looks so freaking awesome. So this is the first hoodie. Of course, had to do the red to match the Evo as well. So here's the red with just a little bit of a different colorway. We did a t-shirt as well. Check out the t-shirt. There's the front right there. And then the back. This one matches more of the red hoodie, which I really like as well. It gives it a little bit of color. It's so good. And the ink's reflective. I know how much you guys love the reflective ink. So we did reflective ink on the hoodies as well. And then a fan favorite we had for this art work because of how good it came out. We are having Evo blankets, guys. Yes, I know how much you guys love when we do the blanket, so we decided to do an Evo blanket here. Look at this thing. So we have Evo blankets, we have a flag in this artwork as well, jet tags, accessories, and we even did mouse pads again. Everything drops this Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Legends site. I'm gonna leave it in the first link down in the description box below. Oh, and this hat, look how sick this freaking hat is. Ooh, it's all just so good. So don't forget, this Friday, 10 a.m., Legends VIP members get early access the day before. So if you want early access and exclusive deals, be sure to join Legends VIP. But let's get into today's video. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. We are back working on the Evo. If you guys haven't watched the last video, you've gotta go watch it. Pause this video, go watch the last video because we actually got this thing started for the first time ever and it was amazing. Now today, our mission is to have the first drive. I don't know how much we'll be able to drive it because of tuning issues and stuff like that. Our, our goal for today is to actually drive this thing. So, a couple of things that we are missing, correct Tim? Look, we got our special guest, uh, Phil here again. Tim, yeah. we have to install the exhaust back, which I'm gonna be cleaning up. If you guys don't know, when we bought the car, this thing is just, the car itself was actually just covered fiberglass and carbon from APR. So I'm gonna be cleaning off the exhaust today. You guys heard the car yesterday with pretty much like just a dump pipe. It's just straight from the header back. We're gonna be installing the exhaust today, which is gonna sound a lot nicer, I think. Be a little bit more uh, tamed, but also sound really good. And we have the rear diffuser, the rear carbon fiber diffuser from APR that we're gonna be throwing on today as well. Just the fuel pressure and then go for a ride. Oh yeah, okay. So before we do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this exhaust off and we'll get started. It's time to install the exhaust. So I don't know, ex I think, what is this called, Phil? Like this, the HKS Superpower? It's carbon, like carbon, yeah, it's carbon TI. Look it up, I guarantee you. Let's well, see. either way, it's a really sick <laughs> HKS exhaust. And this entire car has pretty much like the HKS catalog back in the day on it. So we're gonna go ahead and install the exhaust and let's see how she sounds. Should we start it up with the dump pipe so we can get a comparison to him? <laughs> don't be a dad. Come on. <laughs> yes, but let me adjust the fuel pressure while here. Good call. We have to adjust the fuel pressure anyway, so I'll go ahead and start the car so you guys can hear it with the dump pipe uh, while Tim adjusts the fuel pressure. Oh, God. Okay, now, we are gonna have some updating to do on the interior. There's so many gauges uh, that just like aren't even necessary, so we're gonna do that. But, start up with the dump pipe here. You ready, Tim? Yeah, you're good. I don't know if these uh, switches do anything in here, but we're gonna turn one anyways. OG of the OG exhaust, you know? I'm really excited for this. Music. Why not? 
guys, we got the rear diffuser on, the exhaust is on. We haven't even started it up, so we're gonna wait until this thing's on the ground to start it up. Um, but the wheel's on, we're gonna put the blocks underneath the car so we can actually get this thing off the lift. And uh, we're good to go for the first drive. This is like, whew, this is so cool. I'm so excited. It is time. This is like a, a very, very special and an awesome moment for us to actually freaking do the first drive now. I don't know how well it's gonna feel because if it hasn't been driven since 2006, it's like it's 15 years. So we'll see how the tune is and see how she runs. Um, the biggest thing is this car started, it runs, it's alive, and now it's time for the first drive. So let's go ahead and lock these in, and uh, we're good. Ooh, it's time, it's time. We're gonna roll her off the blocks and then we're gonna start with the dude. Uh, you break. I can't wait. I'm so good. First official start, completely put back together, HKS exhaust, first drive. Here we go. Okay, this is it. Here we go. Oh, dude. That is it. So good. Granted, I just drove it out of the garage, but I think now it's time for uh, for the real drive. Let's hop in. All right, first official test drive. We definitely need a tune. I cannot believe we're driving this right now, dude. We are driving the original Tokyo Drift Evo right now. This is such an awesome moment. Gotta see how she's gonna feel, but I think we can get into like baby boost. Hey, it's on you, your car. Just a little bit. Sounds amazing. There's a super aggressive cam. Okay, like I thought it was I thought it was like the same as my Evo, but it sounds a little bit crazier than mine. Yeah, it's pretty aggressive. Unless it's just the tune, I don't know. Also happening is we have 1500 cc injection. 
allows it. So without a tune, the car is just dumping fuel, thinking it has a thousand cc injectors, when really it's 15, so we just don't have enough fuel either. But hey, the car feels great. Oh. I think with the cage and everything, the rigidity of the body of the car is absolutely insane. Um, and the brakes feel good too, as for being so old. But God, dude, we did it, Tim. We freaking did it. It runs amazing for not having a two. So for me, that's a win. It sounds very, very healthy. It sounds very healthy, and like. If you guys don't know, the car only has 10,511 miles on it. We have like four gallons. That's not enough to be empty right now. Oh, oh, there she, oh, she wants to die now. It needs a tune, like. It needs a tune. Definitely. But hey. Now are you touching anything? Nope. Okay, it's so just idling, idling, at, it's idling at a thousand. Perfect. First drive in the Evo, guys. Now we're gonna do some exterior shots and get some shots of the car uh, outside. We noticed something while filming. Tim, will you do the honors, please? Yeah, like when he, when he pressed the brakes, you know, <laughs> just, just looking through it. If you guys remember the Easter egg we found when we first bought the car, when we pressed the brakes, look, his eyes light up. <laughs> that is so great. The car sounds freaking awesome. How does it sound driving? Oh, sounds you get so like that good. little taste of boost. You do when you're really when you good. step on it. Oh, you can hear the turbo. Oh, so good. My heart, this is just, this is honestly so unbelievable for me right now. So uh, we're out driving this right now. I wanna kind of find a spot that we can actually shoot the car in since we're like outside, you know? Yeah. We should find like a cool spot to shoot. So let's go find somewhere and uh, do a little baby shoot. Well, our uh, our simple little test drive has turned pretty, pretty bad here. The car has decided it just doesn't wanna run anymore at all. I'm hoping that we ran out of the three gallons of gas that we put in because yeah. um, it's running super rich so it's sucking in a lot of fuel. So Tim went and ran and got some new gas. I put some gas and hopefully it fixes the issue. But basically whenever I press this, whenever I press the gas, it just gives no throttle whatsoever. So I'm guessing we're just out of gas. So we're going to try it. Let's fill her up. Uh, but yep, really, really, really need a tune here. All right, here we go. Ah, there she is. Way better right away. Yes. Still doesn't idle the best, but it's using so much gas that we ran out of gas. We didn't even go anywhere. We probably we put five miles on the car and it ran out of gas. It's probably like two miles to the gallon right now. Dude, seriously, we put we put 5.5 miles on the car and it ran out of gas. That is crazy. Hey. Well, you gotta also think. It's a brand new fuel system, yeah. so you got an eight dash eight line going in and dash six going out. So you suck in gas. That's probably about a gallon right there. That is so crazy. And then you're on an incline too, so it's probably not getting. But you have the. It was only running because he had that search thing. Yeah. That is wild. So now we're not gonna drive it anymore. Well, we we're are. Gonna go to the film spot. Yeah, we're gonna go film a little bit, but uh, yeah, everything's good to go. What's up, man? This is crazy. I cannot believe we're actually driving this car. I can't even imagine once we actually get it tuned and what it's gonna sound like. It's gonna be sick. What's the retail on one of those? One that you can afford, pal. <laughs> wrong movie. <laughs> oh, wrong movie. <laughs> wrong 
Yeah, I bet you you want to drift it though. got done filming I didn't do too much filming it's kind of more of, of reminiscing I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off right now after all the excitement and everything goes away I'm left with a, a feeling of, of pure and absolute joy that I don't I don't I don't know I just wanted to kind of explain a little bit I mean this is just so unbelievably crazy for me I mean a lot of you guys might know kind of my story of getting to California um, and a lot of you might not. If you guys are new here, uh, I used to live in Mississippi, and I I just recently, um, a few years ago, moved to California. And you know, I was just some kid in Mississippi going to college for criminal justice, about to be a cop, and I took a chance on myself. And and if you watch last video, you guys kind of know kind of one of my one of my favorite phrases and kind of like my life motto, I guess, is to do more. It's tattooed on my body, and you know, I kind of. I, I kind of take that to heart, you know, and try to push myself to do more and to take the risk to do the things that I want to do and the things that I, I'm passionate about, whether it's it's cars or traveling or, or, or whatever, you know, I, I do more and I, I take that risk and I want to urge you guys to do the same because you, you never know. I was just a, some kid from, from Mississippi who filmed his life and was, was goofy and no one understood what I did or why am I filming cars or why am I film, filming myself and now we're here and uh, it's just, it's crazy. I just brought back from the dead my childhood and, and lifelong dream car, the Tokyo Drift Evo 8. Like it's just, it's crazy. And it really does go to show if you're passionate about something, if you love something, you can do it. Guys, if I can do it, you can do it too. I promise, you just have to have that mindset. And I wanna drill into you guys, do more. If you want something bad enough, you'll do whatever it takes to get you there just like we have done. And you know, really just sitting back and realizing what in the hell we just did, that's pretty crazy. It is pretty crazy. We have a long way to go with this car, but this is a giant leap forward. But all right, enough of me getting all sappy with you guys. Um, I, just, I just, you know, kind of wanted to say that I am extremely grateful and thankful for, for you guys, you know, watching my videos and supporting. It's because of you guys that were here and uh, I really am grateful for, for everything. But, <laughs> let's take this thing back to the shop and get her ready. We gotta find a tuner. how you know you have real homies who bring the goods. What do we got here? Well, oh my god. Something. Let's go inside. Anyways, I wasn't able to go to Frankenstein's today. And look what they got me. I've been super into Demon Slayer lately. In preparation for the new movie that just came out, I've been watching the first season and it is so good. So if you guys haven't checked it out, you should definitely check it out. And we got some some scrolls. Did you guys have a good time at Frankenstein's? It was, it was, it was, it's always a good time at Frankenstein's. <laughs> 
left. And there was no line either, so we went in and out. There was no line at Frankenstein's? Oh my god, I was shooting for Legend, so I couldn't make it, but I am so stoked about this. We're gonna have to go put this in the office somewhere. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a live stream. Um, if you guys don't know, I play games and stuff all the time. We are finally back after the stream room has been renovated, so I'll show you guys this in a little bit. But I wanted everybody in the chat to be able to say what's up. Everybody in chat right now, let's, uh, let's give the video some love. How's it going, everybody? We got so many people in the chat. This is awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. If you guys want to catch me live or play some video games with me, I mainly play um, Halo and some like first person scary games. Look at everybody going off right now. If you guys want to catch me live, I'm going to leave my Twitch down in the description so you guys can check that out. So thank you everybody that's in chat right now. Uh, we're about to play some Halo and it's going to be a lot of fun. So just wanted to throw this in there for the end of the video, but I will show you guys a little update. Oh, who just subbed? Oh, Kill Switch. Kill Switch is gifting subs. Thank you so much. Two of them. This is really awesome. So if you guys want to catch a live stream, I'll leave it down in the description for you guys. But now we're going to play some Halo. Actually, I'll throw in some of the best clips from tonight in Halo too. So yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, we had a good run. That was a good run. Whoa. Oh, dude, I'm like, what? Oh no! You what? banged it off the wall! I saw what? that! You need to snipe rival and you only gotta use rockets. Whoa! Zombie. Round over. So to have like three pop up. Pop on, dude! Hurry up! Here we go, baby! Come on, Here Justin, we go! You can make it. Oh, no! Yes! Yes! What? Yes! What? Yes! What? Yes! Oh my god, there's right. no uh, way! I was like, oh, it oh, has oh, to work. I should not have stopped from using it. Well, that was super fun. We just finished up the Halo game night. That was amazing. You guys have got to join in. But now I definitely have to find a spot for my Demon Slayer figures. This Tashiro statue is like really freaking sick. I just have so much stuff in here. I think I can move some things around and put them in there. But um, before we end, I'll show you guys my little studio. Or since we got it painted and finished and everything, because it does look super freaking cool. This is where all the editing and the magic happens. A little stream studio, and then we painted the back wall red. Now, I actually wanted more of a brighter red back here but I actually think it came out pretty cool with the deep red I actually really like it so I have all my collection stuff set up the halo the Godzilla I got my Pokemon and my Yu-Gi-Oh over here and then we have a little bit of Star Wars a lot of my anime stuff and of course we have alien up top so this is just a little mini tour once we get all my LEDs and stuff set up it's gonna be way way cooler so I'll give you guys a more in-depth look at that but I'm gonna find a spot for my cool little demon slayer statues and we're gonna end today's video thank you guys so much for watching new drop this Friday 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time it's gonna be sick if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button and like the video because it really does help me out a lot and I'll see you guys in Wednesday's video peace out